Hello guys, we're about one here coming at you with a new Yu-Gi-Oh video and in today's Yu-Gi-Oh video we have got the new Revolver Structure Deck cards being revealed. We've got some of the new cards being revealed. As you can see already we have a link for that has the weirdest arrows we've seen so far, the arrows that I kind of wanted to see for a while. I have a spell card that could like move arrows so we could make fire. We'll have those arrows. Um and that is and gonna find out what the card is because we have some new structure deck revolver cards and i wanted to talk about them because i love revolver as a character um i love his character i love the anime in general i love rockets like i have the core just sitting around um just to play with for fun if i ever do choose to build it in real life um might give you guys a new rocket video update profile update at some point but structure deck revolver um, we've got some really cool cards to look at. I don't know what they all do. I know there's a few. I know a few of them, such as the link on the screen. But we're going to get into them. We're going to talk about them. We're just going to see how good they are and what they can do. So, let's see if these cards can make rockets relevant. Um, okay, so we start off with a Burl Load Fusion Monster. Kind of already knew this existed. And it's Burl Load Furious Dragon. Okay. The level 8 Dark Synchro Fusion Effect Monster, 300 attack, 2500 defense. Alright. So it's got the blue eye stats. Uh, two Dark Monsters. Oh, sorry, two Dark Dragon Monsters. Okay, so it's it's pretty generic. Um, you can only use the first... You can only use each effect of this card's name once per turn. Uh, okay. Quick effect, you can target one monster you control and one card your opponent controls. Destroy them. Not bad. It's a quick effect, so you could like talk. So it's either during your player's turn, it's a and it's effect that you can disrupt the opponent. Nice, pretty good. Um, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one dark link monster in your graveyard. Uh, special summon that monster, but it cannot activate its effects this turn. That's pretty good. Um, it's not a, it's not contact fusion, so obviously it's not going to be the most generic card in the game. But having the effect, a quick effect that can kill both two cards on the board, just like that, um, you want your rockets to die anyway, so you can summon them during the next during the end phase to gain more advantage. And having the ability to just summon a dark link monster, to, such as Boral Load, Boral Savage, um, sorry, Boral Load, Boral Sword, uh, Boral Guard, if you're feeling it, is actually pretty good as well because it gives you the ability to then use their quick effects on your opponent's turn to target your rocket monsters to then um, use the rocket monsters effect to kill themselves and just get rid of a card your opponent controls. So pretty good effect, pretty good effect. Um, not bad at all. I feel like that's pretty decent. All right, so ooh, a new rocket link monster, uh, Swan Burl Dragon or Fawn Burl Dragon. Uh, Something. Yu-Gi-Oh! Organization doesn't even know. Um, uh, arrows left and bottom. 1,000 attack. Uh, two dragon monsters, including a rocket monster. Okay, so they're giving you the ability to use, like, gateway dragon and stuff like Revolver can to just, like, make this. That's pretty good. Um, okay. Uh, you can only use this card's name effect once per turn. Uh, you can discard one card, then target one face-up monster on the field. Normally a rocket. Uh, you cannot special summon link to or lower monsters from your extra deck for the rest of this turn. Okay, I don't know why you would be summoning link to or lower monsters, but this restricts you from doing it. Uh, also destroy that monster. Then, if the destroyed monster was a link monster, you can special summon... Rocket monsters with different names from your great hand or graveyard up to the num up to the link rating of the of the monster. Um so it's a soul charge, I guess. So you target like Boral Sword, because you can't target Boral Load. Kill Boral Sword. Um summon four rocket monsters, then go into like a Boral Load or something. Um it's not the best. I'm gonna be honest, like it does the it does what it needs to do in targeting your Boral Link monsters, but it takes away a, you have to discard a card to use this effect, so you're already negging yourself a card. Um, you're restricting yourself out of Link twos, which of which aren't always necessary in a deck like this. <coughs> On the turn, sorry for my cough, I got a bad cough, and you're kind of 
and sure, it's got like a soul charge esque effect for rockets, but we've already got uh, the field spell to do that. So it's not necessarily the best card to have for this deck, but it's not terrible. So um, I'm I'm indifferent on it. I'm indifferent on it. It's not bad. Oh, we got a, we got a Borrow Load Quick Play spell, a Borrow Quick Play spell, a Rapid Trigger, so another one. Uh, quick effect, quick play spell. Uh, you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. Uh, fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck. Our big boy right here. Uh, by destroying monsters, you control its fusion materials. Okay, so this allows you to kill your rocket monsters. Um, that's good. Uh, just summon more rockets during the end phase. Always going to be needed for this deck. Um, a little annoyed that you have to be controlling the monsters. I feel like you should be able to just destroy them in hand, but can't have everything. Um, the, the fusion monster cannot attack except to attack monsters, especially someone from the extra deck. Also, it is unaffected by activate effects from any monster, especially someone from the extra deck, except its own. Okay, so... It's a quick, it's a quick play card, so that's really good already. Seeing as you get to kill your two, you get to kill two rockets, um, then get the effect in the end phase. Um, you can only attack monsters though. Uh, sorry, you, you can only attack monsters, especially someone from the extra deck, which is not the greatest, but it's also not the worst because like we're really in a extra deck heavy format right now. So I see why they're going with this, um, and rockets are cut. And the deck is mainly be built to be like rockets and stuff, but I feel like it was a. This is way too restrictive, and it doesn't need all of these restrictions. But it also protects you from activated effects as well, which is nice. Um, but it's it's a it's uh, like I would say get rid of the special summon from the extra deck part and just make it uh, so it can just only attack monsters. I feel like that would have been a much better effect for this card. But, obviously, we can't ask for everything, and it looks like Rockets aren't getting all that broken support. Um, so, Topological Zero Voros. Okay, so Trishbana, Trishbana, Gumbla, and Bomber Dragon. Okay. Um, arrows. Uh, wait. You can V-Link with this. I like. <clears throat> okay. Arrows, top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. Okay. Link to uh, two plus effect monsters. You cannot spell summon monsters to, to an extra monster zone in this card point. Ah! I'm upset now. I wanted to be able to see Link. Oh. You could... Why can't it also why can't it say Neva player? Why is it only you? You specifically saying like, oh, you can try to V Link, but you're not allowed to. Oh. Annoying. Uh gains 200 attack for each banished card. Okay, so it works with Trish, Trish Painter. Um oh, yeah, I already said this stuff. Um, if another monster is special summoned to his own, a link monster points to. While this monster is on the field, banish all cards on the field. Where? Another monster is special summoned to a link, a zone, a link monster points to while this monster is on the field. Make this banish all cards on board. What? Orcus just got 10 times better. Okay. Um That is insane. That's actually just nuts. Okay. Um and once per turn during the standby phase of the next turn after this card was banished by its own effect, special summon. Gains 200 attack for each card banished. When a card is summoned to a link zone, 
all cards on board are banished. And during the next standby phase, it summons itself back. That's nuts. That that's actually insane. The impl This in August is dumb. You you have Babel set up or anything else, or you just need to get rid of your opponent's board. You go into this for the Orcus combo, summon this, summon it into summon a monster, banish opponent's entire board. Then you just continue with your plays and potentially kill your opponent. <laughs> oh my god. That's actually insane. That card, this card is nuts. Like, the implications this card has in the game. It points two down, obviously. It points two down, two up. So if your opponent summons to the zone, sure, it triggers the effect. But it's the fact that you can banish all cards on board. And that's fair. That's actually insane. That card, this card is broken, like, honestly. Looking at all these other cards, this, fine. This is balanced. This, eh, it's not the best. This has restriction. This is nuts just having the ability to banish all cards on board and just for free pretty much in something like orcus or something like sky striker where you can just set a drones and be like oh well i'm just gonna summon my token there cool um that's insane and during the next standby phase you get to summon it back and sure you can't summon it to a zone where a link monster points uh, to where you could summon it to a link monster points to. You could summon it in the middle column. So if your opponent's special summons to an extra monster zone, they lose everything. That's actually nuts. That this is going to be one of the most broken link monsters in the game, and that's just insane. Um, but guys, Revolver Structure Deck giving us one insane card. Oh my god! Like this card is nuts. Um, the fusion's interesting. It helps rockets. This is meh, um, and this is this is pretty decent. I like this card. But guys, what do you think of these four cards? Tell me what you think in the comments section below. Tell me if they're good. Tell me if they're broken. Tell me if this card is going to be a staple in any deck that can summon during your opponent's turn or your own turn, or just can punish the board and gain resources back. Because this card, this card is, this card is on crack. <laughs> pretty much, this card is insane. Um, but guys. That's the video. Thank you so much for watching. These cards are really cool. This one is insane in particular. And I will see you guys next time. Robot One signing out. Oh my lord, this card is nuts. Bye guys.